Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I want to share something from the final verse of the Old Covenant. And after this, if I'm not mistaken, there was around 400 years of silence. But it's a profound statement. Do you remember growing up in the 60s? I do. You remember that expression that people talked about, the generation gap? And there's, there's a reality to it. And anyway, here's what the verse says. Uh, it's referring to both John the Baptist and to Jesus. I'll just give them the, the names that we understand them as. His preaching, their preaching, will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. For those of you that know me, you know that it goes back quite a ways, almost 40 years, that I started in youth ministry, although in a lot of ways you could say it started before that. I just wasn't really aware of it. And so I worked with younger generations, feel like I've been an advocate for younger generations. And then a few years ago, finally kind of wrapped it up. And then about a year ago, somebody asked the question, so do you think you could be like a youth pastor again? And I kind of laughed. I'm like, no, I'm 63 years old. I no, I don't think I could be a youth pastor again. I said, I mean, I just pictured myself going into a church, applying for the position and just getting laughed out of there. But I said, it's not that I don't know the music they listen to. I don't even know where they find it. It's not that I don't know what TV shows they watch. I don't know where they find them, okay? Just youth culture. But then I genuinely felt, I was out for a walk late one night, that God kind of tapped me on the shoulder. He said, but you've got some students here. You could work with them, couldn't you? And the correct answer is always yes. And so I said yes. And I'm really glad that I did. And so I'm going to answer two questions. What I think the students have learned and what I think I've learned. So what have they learned? I think they've learned to be a community and to care for each other. And I just love that. And, and I know that they've got friends at school and they've been involved in different churches. But there's something about them that they miss when somebody's not there. They have their own communication with one another via social uh, you know, media and stuff like that. But I guess sense that they genuinely care about each other, whether they use those words or not. They've also learned to serve. This past summer, most all of the students either went to camp uh, to serve, went to Kentucky to serve. They like to go to Feed My Starving Children. And the other thing that's really cool that I've picked up is that when they do that, when they serve, they're an example to one another. Isn't that a cool thing? And see, that, that applies to adults as well. It's like, we're looking to other people kind of show me the way. And it's like, oh, well, I'm going to volunteer my time. I'm going to go do something for somebody else. And I think that that's really a cool thing. So what have I learned? Once again, there's just some universal things. And one is that every generation on planet Earth until God ends this whole thing are image bearers whether we know Christ as Savior or not. Uh, and that, that, that speeds up the process. But we're image bearers. We we're born and created in the image of God. Yes, it's marred by the fall, but God is restoring us to it. And once again, it's a new generation of students that they're fun. I mean, and they want to have fun. And, and I think that they genuinely want to uh, grow. Uh, I have learned that also, once again, that good parenting matters. And so I just want to encourage parents out there. There's, there's never been a perfect parent. Never has been, never will be. But don't you love this verse that says, um, turning the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. If there's anything I've tried to do in youth ministry, that's it. And to improve that relationship. And so to the parents today, you, you may know none of the children, young people that I'm talking about, but you've got kids. Um, have you ever made a mistake? Two of the most important things they could ever hear you say was, I was wrong or I was sorry. And God bless you. Parents, good parents, we, we've never needed good parents more in American culture in my lifetime than we do today. God bless you. You are making a difference. Continue to do so by the grace of God.